While the Art of War by Sun Tzu is hailed as one of China's oldest surviving military treatises, and among the earliest military works in the world, many have not had the opportunity to delve deep into its teachings. So, are you curious about the subtle deceptions hidden within this ancient military classic? In the Art of War by Sun Tzu, the deceptions are divided into two parts. First, there's the Art of Disguise. These tactics aim to confuse the enemy and conceal true intentions. The second part involves strategies against the enemy. Behind these wisdom lies a multitude of stories from warfare and military leadership. We will delve into how these ancient insights were applied on historical battlefields and explore whether they still hold value today. In our previous videos, we delved into the practical examples of the first two tactics of disguise in the art of war by Sun Tzu, when able to attack, we must seem unable, when using our forces, we must seem inactive. In this episode, we will continue our exploration of the remaining aspects of disguise, when we are near, we must make the enemy believe we are far away, when far away, we must make him believe we are near. These two strategies, in essence, share a common theme, encapsulated by the idiom sheng dong ji xi, making a feint to the east and attacking in the west. They are primarily employed in multi-target warfare, where tactical decisions become particularly critical. In multi-target warfare, commanders face the challenging task of making difficult decisions among various objectives, since the allocation of forces is pivotal for both the enemy and one's own strategy. If you commit too many forces to one target, it can lead to a reduction in resources available for other objectives, potentially impacting your overall strategy. As an attacking force, your goal is to compel the enemy to scatter their forces, diverting their attention away from the target you intend to strike. This is the essence of the Shengdong Jixi strategy. In ancient China, there is a classic example known as the Battle of Gailing. Sun Tzu had a descendant named Sun Bin, and in the past, there was some confusion, often mistaking Sun Tzu for Sun Bin, but it was later clarified that they were indeed different individuals. Returning to our topic, when Wei, a powerful state, threatened to attack Zhao, the Zhao kingdom urgently sought help from the Qi kingdom. Qi's king dispatched Tianji and Sun Bin to assist. Initially, Tianji contemplated a direct rescue mission for Zhao, but Sun Bin proposed a unique strategy, let's not rush to rescue Zhao directly. Instead, we should seize the opportunity when Pang Wan, the leader of Wei, moves his main forces toward Zhao. We will exploit the weaknesses in Wei's defenses and launch an attack on Wei itself. This will compel Pang Wan to return to his own state for the rescue, and we can set an ambush along his return route, catching him off guard. Tianji wholeheartedly agreed with this plan. As expected, Pang Wan fell into the trap. Wei's forces consisted mainly of the elderly, weak, and sick, and he had no choice but to return. The result was the initiation of the Battle of Gailing, in which Pang Wan was defeated. This historical case vividly illustrates the clever application of Sheng Dong Ji Xi, showing how creating vulnerabilities in the enemy's strategy can lead to a strategic advantage. This is the essence of, when we are near, we must make the enemy believe we are far away, when far away, we must make him believe we are near. This strategy teaches us not to fall into the trap of single-minded thinking but rather to approach problems from multiple angles. Focusing all our attention on one point, while ignoring the broader context, often results in diminished outcomes. Hence, Sun Tzu's four tactics of disguise are incredibly effective. So, with that, we've covered the disguise aspect in the art of war. We still have the eight strategies for, against the enemy, in Sun Tzu's art of war to explore. In the next episode, we'll dive deep into these strategies. Stay tuned! If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. This way, you won't miss out on the exciting insights into, engaging the enemy, in the upcoming episode. Your support is our driving force to continue creating valuable content. Additionally, if you have any questions, suggestions, or thoughts about this episode, please be sure to share them in the comments. We greatly appreciate your participation, and your feedback is highly valuable to us. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again in the next episode. Have a wonderful day.